Yeah, we're going to have the Big Bay boom here in town. Yeah. There are yeah. plenty of ways to enjoy professional yeah. fireworks. Yeah. You don't have to follow that uh, wow, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. euphemism if uh, you don't light them off yourself. Yes. Right? You know, yes. Exactly. Leave it to the professionals. And, like, I mean, hey, that Big Bay boom is massive. Yeah, it's There's be so awesome. many spots you can watch it from. So a lot of opportunities still to see those fireworks and to enjoy your 4th of July. Another way you're going to enjoy it is with cooler temperatures. We've had a lot of people talking about how hot it has been recently and how muggy it's been, too. We're going to have both humidity values dropping and temperatures dropping afternoon highs and overnight lows as we head into the upcoming weekend. So that's the holiday weekend. Of course, here's the view outside still looking at pretty cloudy conditions as that marine layer starts to rebuild. We're going to have it even more expansive in the coming days towards some of your eastern sitting valleys this upcoming weekend where we see that marine layer stretch all the way on shore for now along the immediate coastline. That's where we see humidity values in the 90% range. But by this afternoon, we'll run this forward and you can see how humidity values steadily drop. So uh, into 9 a.m., for example, we're in the about 30 and 40 mile per hour range. Still going to feel it out there. But by the afternoon, really, when we hit our uh, lowest point, we'll be down to the teens in areas like El Cajon and Alpine, Julian, Borrego Springs. So as those humidity values drop, we'll feel less and less wet outside and uh, muggy. But we also will start to see those temperatures daily take a drop too. So that's the view outside. You can see that marine layer gradual cooling into Monday, but still hot for today, especially. I won't say by any means that it is a cool day, but today kicks off that cooling trend that will continue through the rest of the week. We've got night and morning low clouds that return to the forecast today through the upcoming weekend and really into early next week. So keep that in mind, even going into your 4th of July itself, that clouds could be around patchy, especially uh, temperatures rise again for the middle of next week. That's a pretty long uh, range and long term outlook, but it looks like as we hit about Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, those temperatures are going to start to climb once again with another ridge of high pressure up ahead. What we have is the big picture right now is this ridge has kept us warm for the last several days. It moves off to the southeast. We see this ridge, this trough of low pressure start to sink in. That blue is cooler than normal air that's going to be moving our way, and that ridge that has brought us this warmer than normal air will move off to the east, and that is going to heat up a good portion of the remainder of the country farther off to the east of us. As we look at your highs for today, we've got several 80s as opposed to the 90s that we saw yesterday. So areas like Escondido and Poway that previously made it to the 90s yesterday are now going to rest in the upper 80s. The steady cool down that comes daily along the coastline, less of a cool down. It's stays mainly in the 70s, but we do cool at times to the upper 60s toward this upcoming weekend and early next week, 69 along the coast, uh, 90s today and then dropping down to the low 80s by the time we get into early next week, your 4th of July holiday. Mountains and deserts, very similar pattern, sunshine across the board there. Temperatures go from the mid 80s to the 70s by early next week. Deserts still pretty hot out there for this upcoming weekend. So if you're spending time in Borrego Springs and Ocotillo Wells, keep in mind we're still going to be hovering around 108 degrees this weekend.